thank you very much guys this is pro graphics once again and today i'm going to teach you how to design a 3d test in adobe dimension guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel please try your best to subscribe to my channel and recommend my channels to others okay let's so let's begin with today's tutorial so what i'm going to do is very simple you'll come over here and choose your test okay so after you have chosen your test you use this arrows to work on your test now okay so let's put it this way so you can see i used to work on it cool so so so, so simple so so simple as that okay so what i'm going to do next is when you press on one it will help you to rotate when you press on um two you will be able to pan around and when you press on three you'll be able to zoom in and zoom out the same functions are also over here okay so you can see now let's give the name over here let's name it design design now guys i want to teach you something over here if you want to save this one okay save this camera and come back and come back over here again whatever whatever we are going to do we are going to rotate pan so you have to save the camera that you have set now so that we can come back over here so for us to be, for it to be simple for us we will come over here and we we'll bookmark this camera so you click on this plus and you have saved that bookmark so anytime that you want to come back to this side you know, immediately immediately you click on it immediately you click on it it will take you to this current camera okay so let me take this preview button out so you scroll down and here we can change the test style or the font style okay so let me choose a font style that i think it might fit into what we are doing okay so let me choose this one then let me change it to heavy okay then let me increase the font size okay so here's the font size let me increase the font size so you can see it's over here now the next thing i'm going to do is we are going to add some depth to it or extrude it a little bit so let me press on one and rotate it like this okay then let me come to depth now see you can see when i'm doing it you can see it's working okay so let me rotate it oh yes still we can come back to our camera that we have booked mark come over here and you see we are just in here okay so simple now the next thing we are going to add to it is called the bevel the bevel the bevel deals with the edges okay of your test so let me zoom in okay so that you can see what i'm talking about so when you go to the bevels you just click on this toggle and you choose you can see so you choose what you want to do okay basically i like this one okay so you can tweak it okay you can do it to the angles okay you can see if you want to repeat it have a several repeated bevels you can do it this way depending on what you want to do okay so let's leave it to two for tutorial purposes then let's come back to our camera okay good so after we have we are done with this there's nothing more there's nothing less the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to add our material to it and position it well then we render so let me scroll down and we are going to make this one a golden test so we click on it like this and give the good so over here you can apply different textures or different materials to it but you want the whole thing to be gold so let's um reposition it okay then come over here do it this way okay can bring it in small then let's do something like this okay so let's click on a preview button and you can see boom guys you can see what we're having so we have created our 3d test in um adobe indesign so guys let's render it and how is uh, how are we going to render it you will come over here click on render then this time around we want the background to be transparent so you can save it as png or photoshop 16-bit channel so we are going to save it 16-bit channel okay 16-bit channel so let me click on all okay 
then let's go to render let's go to render okay so let's go to render i've i've done some so i need to replace it so guys we are going to wait okay so guys now the rendering is done and what you are going to do is come and click on this path okay then it tells us where the file is so it's in a new folder so let's come back let's go to our desktop it is our desktop new folder too so let me come here so desktop new folder two here so guys this is the file so you can see this is the file so we double click and open it in photoshop okay yes guys our design is set our design is set so when you take off the background you can see that you're having it in a png form this one you can put it in on any design that you wish then use it as your 3d um theme for your flyer or design okay so over here with this one you can change the background okay so we have a png file over here and yet you can change the background apart from this background you can also change the background by coming to the solid color then you can see you can change the background to any color so you can choose a color from here so you can see you can see okay so you can you can do anything can do anything with this background okay come to this side so guys that is all so if you find this video to be helpful please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and remember it's pro graphics thank you very much and have a blessed day bye bye